This is the ozone layer. It is a belt of naturally occurring ozone gases that sit miles above Earth and serves as a shield from the harmful radiation emitted by the sun. This radiation can cause skin cancer and cataracts in humans, harm animals, and also plants all across the globe. Without it, life on Earth would be almost nothing. Right now, though, it's depleting. The ozone layer is deteriorating due to the release of pollution containing the chemicals chlorine and bromine. Such deterioration allows large amounts of ultraviolet damaging B rays to reach Earth. Nothing is safe from this. If it affects one species in the food chain, it can affect and damage the entire world. Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, Chemicals found mainly in spray aerosols heavily used for the past 50 years are the primary culprits in ozone layer breakdown. When CFCs reach the upper atmosphere, they are exposed to ultraviolet rays, which cause them to break down into substances that include chlorine. Chlorine reacts with the oxygen atoms in ozone and rips apart the ozone molecule. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, one atom of chlorine can destroy more than 100,000 ozone molecules. Antarctica was an early victim of ozone destruction. This region's low temperatures speed up the conversion of CFCs to chlorine. Now, there's a frequently referenced hole, or a thinned out layer where radiation can beam through over the continent. Its melting ice caps pose risk to the entire planet. If this occurred over an even more populous continent, then it would surely have a devastating effect. The life cycles of plants would change causing disruptions in food webs and ecosystems worldwide. Oceans will be hit hard as well. The most basic microscopic organisms, such as plankton, may not be able to survive. If that happened, it would mean that all of the other animals that are above plankton in the food chain would also die out. Other biomes, such as forests and deserts, will also be greatly harmed. The planet's climate could also be affected by depletion of the ozone layer. Wind patterns could change resulting in severe climatic changes throughout the world. The damage so far is already done. It's not reversible, but it is preventable. By using less products that contain CFCs, we can help control the level of depletion itself. Also, by pushing lawmakers to pass legislation on rules in chemical use and atmospheric research, we can ensure that we as a people are doing the right thing. Together, we can make sure this world is a that much better place.